Welcome everybody. In this short video we're going to be discussing the geography of the Holy Land itself. In another video I want to focus on the geography of the Middle East at large. However, we'll be focusing just on the Holy Land in this one. There's quite a bit going on in that little sliver of land. Some stuff you may not realize. So I think this will really help you visualize why some of the things are happening, why so many people are fighting <laughs> over Israel. Um, if you have any questions at all, of course, just post them below, and uh, we'll get some discussion going. Uh, let's get started. Okay, here we are with a basic map of Israel. We've probably all seen pictures like this or maps like this um, since we were kids in the back of our Bibles or uh, whenever we see a map of Israel. It's a really nice map, by the way. Uh, Moody Bible Atlas uh, is the resource I'll use for most of these maps. Um, wonderful thing to have on your bookshelf if you don't already. But um, I want to focus on a view of the Holy Land that I think may be a little more helpful, and that's this one. Um, as you can see, there are you know, different regions in Israel, basically, uh, that this highlights. And I want to focus on those because I think it'll help you understand, especially early Israel. But um, let's focus in on this one. Starting in the west, we have what's known as the Coastal Plain. This was, and still is, wonderful farmland. Um, a lot of rivers running through, a lot of irrigation for crops, and uh, just a wonderful place to settle and, gr and grow food for your family. Unfortunately, this is also where the Philistines were settled. So, especially in early Israel, until that threat was conquered, this was a dangerous place for Israel to be. So, um, we don't have them settling here. But another thing to keep in mind here is that the international trade route runs up through this area. So, if goods or armies or people were moving through the region, they had to come through this area. Um, to the east, then, we have the Central Mountain Spine, and this is where we find Israel settling primarily, at least early on, um, in that late Bronze Age, early Iron Age transition. We have literally hundreds of little sites popping up all over, is all over the Central Mountain Spine. So um, we're talking about much more rugged territory. We're talking about much, much harder land to farm and to move goods north, south, east, and west. Um, so that is primarily where we see Israel uh, popping up um, as they came into the land. Then to the east of that, we have what's known as the Jordan Rift Valley. This is a um, huge drop uh, from the central mountain spine um, down into this valley. And um, you might be thinking that the Jordan River must have good water, right, for farms and for uh, crops, etc., for uh, cattle. Um, but... This is also along a really active fault line, and I hope we can take a closer look at that in, in the next video. But it's constantly pumping minerals up into the water. So Sea of Galilee is clean and pure, uh, moving south, uh, especially down into the Dead Sea, but all along the Jordan we have salty water. So no good for farming. Um, to the east, uh, again, we have what's known as the um, Transjordan Plateau. Um, this would have been the land of Moab and uh, Ammon, so enemies of Israel. Uh, actually, two and a half tribes of Israel settled over here, but um, this was, uh, again, pretty rugged territory. So uh, let's take a, a look at a different view uh, that may help you visualize this a little better. Okay, this is the same thing we were looking at just now. We have the coastal plain, the central mountain spine, dropping down to the Jordan Rift Valley and the Transjordan Plateau. Um, just look at that drop between Jerusalem and the Dead Sea, for example, uh, going from 2,540 feet above sea level down to 1,302 below. Um, so if, if you leave Jerusalem and it's in the 60s, 50s, 60s, and you have a jacket on, you get down to the Dead Sea and you're in the desert, it might be in the 80s. So it's quite extraordinary. Well, that wraps up our quick look at the geography of the Holy Land. Hopefully now you can picture a little bit more of what's going on strategically. Um, if uh, um, someone controlled that international road running up through the coastal plain, um, it cut right through the mountains um, at Megiddo. Megiddo guarded one of the only passes um, through those mountains for the international road. So if someone controlled that area, they could control 
um, trade. They could tax what was moving north and south. They could um, certainly protect themselves against armies that were trying to invade. So pretty much everybody tried to control it at one point or another. The Egyptians did just before Israel came in at different times, but that was one of them. Um, the Assyrians did. Um, Babylonians, of course, did. Romans, pretty much everybody did. Um, this was a very strategic little piece of land. So hopefully that helps you. Um, of course, if you have questions, post them below, and I'd be more than happy to help. Have a great night.